Hello everyone, it's Dawn and welcome back to my channel. Well, today we're going to kick off our project or series of projects from Paper Craft Society Box 48, which has been designed by the wonderful Lou Collins under her brand of textures. And today we are going to make two cards, two greeting cards. So I'm just going to put the box to one side and I want to show you what we're going to use. We are going to use this stamp here with the, with the stack of pumpkins. We're going to use that and we're going to use that. We're going to use that one, this stamp on one of the projects, but we're, on, but we're going to use this die on both of them. So I know that sounds a bit mysterious, but you'll see why as we go along. It'll make sense as we go along, I hope. So let's get cracking. So we're going to start with the card whereby we're going to use both the stamp and the die. Now, this is a five by seven card and I've used this gorgeous pumpkin paper as a backing paper. You'll see why when we get to what we're making. And I'm going to use one of the other papers as a mat. Now, this is a six by four mat and I haven't put any adhesive on it yet, but I'm going to just quickly pop some red rubber tape on it. We could use glue, but I haven't got my glue to hand with me. I've had to move things around to make things easier for when my husband comes home from hospital. So I've had to move things around. So the glue is actually in another room at the moment. So I'm going to use my red runner tape because it's easy to store. And it fits in my little caddy on, by the, on my table by the side of me. So we're going to pop that down like that. I have got some glue sticks, but I'm not, I wasn't convinced that a glue stick would actually be strong enough. It might be, but anyway, I've used red runner tape. You can use glue if you want to. You can use your tacky glue or your construction weight glue or whatever glue you like to use. And now what I want to know, do next is show you what I've done with the stamp and the die. I've already prepared it. What I've done is I've stamped it. Let me just pop it to one side for a minute or the card to one side. I've stamped it and cut it out, but at the top here, I have made it into a little face. I've made a face, so we've got a little pumpkin man. And I'll show you what I've done on the back. What I did with these leaves that came out, I actually cut them off from the die, or the die cut, and turned it over and just used some sticky tape to put them on the back, like that. Ever so easy, if I hold it up to the camera a bit for you. Is that easier? And I've just taped it, used some sticky tape, good old common or garden sticky tape, to go on the back. And then, I've got some foam tape, which I'm just going to remove the backing paper. And I've just cut my fingernails this morning, so which was a daft thing to do when you're crafting. But oh, it seems to be coming off. It seems to be behaving itself quite nicely. So that's good news. And I'm going to put my little pumpkin man just there like that. And he stands out quite nicely. I just used a black Sharpie pen just to go out to make these. These are little triangles. And I did a little mouth, almost like a little jagger lantern. But I think he looks quite cute like that, with his viney arms or leafy arms sticking up. And I've used one of the stamps. I've used the stamp that says to a special person on your special on a special day, which is that one. Let me just slide that to one side and you can see it better. I've used that one. You'll see it better in a minute. And again, let's pop this back in. I have used a piece of foam tape just to prop it up. I actually, with the sentiments, I often put them on foam tape because I like to see them propped up. And we're going to put that like that. And now that card is done. Wasn't that quick? Very quick and very easy. Even colouring this in, I just coloured this in with my pens and it, that didn't take very long, about five, 10 minutes maybe. So straight on to the second card, which is completely different. It's even a different season. So let me show you what I've done. I've used the wonderful blue and white plaid, which I absolutely love. I love any plaid. And I've used, again, this is a five by seven. And I've cut a mat. I haven't measured the mat, but I cut a mat down to suit the embossing folder. Because what I've done, there wasn't an embossing folder in this set, but I wanted to use one of my own and I've embossed it. I'll, I'll do some measurements for you in a minute. And then what I did, well, because it's white core, it did show some of the lovely white underneath. But just to enhance that a little bit more, all I did, I used a white pencil. And I went over the embossed edges like that. So very quick 
and very simple. Now I'll give you the measurements for this. I haven't measured it. I'll just find my ruler. So in inches, this is four by four by five inches is your match for this one, but you don't have to use that size. You can use any size you like. And again, just for quickness, I am going to use my red runner tape, which I think is just about to run out. So I think we'll get away with it, just about. Yeah, I think we'll just about get away with it. Wonderful. Now I'm going to put this towards the top this time. And then I'm going to show you what I've done with the die. So I've used the die, but I used just the outline die onto white card. I haven't done any stamping at all. It's just a plain white shape. And that's what I cut out. Now, what we're going to do for this one, I'm just going to grab some scissors. We're actually going to cut off the vine pieces or the leafy pieces completely. So I'm just going to use my scissors. We go because for this project, we don't need them. I was going to keep them, but then I decided not to. Can you guess what we're making it? I'm sure you can. I'm sure some of you can anyway. So what we're going to do, we're going to use this because this is what I thought of. The minute I saw the outline die to this, I thought this is what we can do with that. And then I realised that there were some coordinating stamps with it or a coordinating stamp. And that made life even better. So what we're going to do, I was going to cut this little knobbly bit off at the top. But I'll tell you what I am going to do. I'm just going to bring it in a bit so you can see what I'm doing and I'll pop it out when the card's finished. So I'm just going to bring that in. And what we're going to do, just on this top part here, I'm just using a red, this is actually a red Sharpie pen. It was the first pen, it was the first red pen I grabbed out of my pen caddy. So it shows you that it's not at all important what type of pen you use. It's not even really important what colour you use. It's up to you. I like red, especially for this type of thing. So you'll see what we're making in just a second. So that's going to go there. I'm not going to come any further down than that. So there we go. So that's going to go up there like that. And then this is what's going to give it away. I'm going to use a black Sharpie pen. You don't have to use Sharpie pens if you don't want to. You can use whatever you've got. And I'm going to put two eyes, a nose, and I'm just going to do a very simple mouth. And to finish him off, just to give him a bit more colour, what I am going to do, I'm going to, including that bit that's sticking out, I think it was part of the leaf, but that's all right, because that all adds to the effect. We're going to just colour that round there. I like colouring. I know some people don't like colouring. They're not in love with colouring. I know a fellow crafter who's a fantastic crafter. But as many of my crafting, all of my friends are, but one of my crafting friends in particular doesn't really like colouring, but I love it. I find it quite relaxing, but that's just me. Maybe it was because I was an artist before I was a crafter. And we're going to just paint or draw like this. So I'm sure you could work out what we're doing by now. I'm sure you've guessed it by now. And we're just going to pop him like that. And which side? I wanted another. Oh, let's have him. Oh, which side? That side or that side? Oh, let's have it coming down that side. So just so that it's it looks like it's tucked behind that other one. And then if you wanted to, just to finish it off. Now this belt is totally optional. You don't have to do this bit if you don't want to. If you wanted to, you could just use your black pen again just to finish him off and do just maybe a couple of buttons going right down to the beginning or right down to the bottom. So I'm sure you've worked out what we've made by now. And I'm going to turn them over. Again, I've got foam tape on the back. So I'll put that there. And I'm, this was actually an arch shaped embossing folder. So that's why I cut it in the shape I did. Because I want him to go in the middle like that. Now I have found a sentiment that says, especially for you. Now, this could be, this obviously is a snowman. I'm sure you've worked out that he's a snowman by now. I've just realised I've missed a bit of red at the top, which is not good. Don't like missing bits, because if I can see it, then someone, I'm sure other people can too. But 
So we're just going to give him a bit more colour around his scarf area. That's it. I'll stop fiddling now. I promise. So there we go. There is our snowman. All stuck on like that. And as I've said, we've got especially for you. Now, our little snowman, you could use him as a Christmas card if you want to. But if you put especially for you, this could be a winter birthday. So perhaps you've got someone who's got a birthday in December or January in, these, in the cold winter months. So I'm going to put, especially for you, I'm going to give it a pop of colour to coordinate with his hat and his, his scarf. I'm just going to very slightly overlap that mat. And then I'm just going to pop it out a bit so that you can see it properly. So there is our second card all finished. I'm going to bring in the first card so that you can see. Although we've used... Where, where's it gone? But although we've used that... Let's just pop them apart. I've used the same die to create that and to create that. I've used the stamps to make them into a pumpkin stack as, as is intended, but I've used the die in a completely different way or to make two completely different looks. So we've got our pumpkin man and our snowman, both from the same die. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and these two projects and I hope it's given you some ideas as to how you can expand this fantastic set and make it go even further from autumn into Christmas or a winter birthday, however you wish to use it. So I'm going to leave that with you for today and I hope to be back in a couple of days or a day or two with our next project. So I say I hope to because as most of you know by now, my husband Graham has had a stroke and he's in hospital and for those who don't know, this is just a quick catch up. Uh, I'm not quite sure what's happening. I'm not quite sure what the next stage in his recovery or his care plan is. So I say I hope I can make another video within the next day or two because I've got another idea for one of the other elements within the box. So in case I change my mind, I won't tell you which one because I'm, I'm quite prone to do that. But I'm going to leave those two with the, you today. One pumpkin man, one snowman both from the same die, but I just used the pumpkin outline stamp to create this. So I hope you've enjoyed this and found it useful. If you are enjoying these videos and you're not yet a subscriber, please do subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell. And if you are enjoying it, I'd really love it if you give me a thumbs up. And that helps YouTube to know that you are enjoying these videos and other people get to see them too. So do take care and I'll see you very soon. In the meantime, have fun and as always, Happy crafting. Bye-bye for now.